Hey everybody, if you use Arlbot and your favorite language is Scratch, I've got a new feature for you that will help you participate in tournaments a little bit better. To get yourself updated, you can go to arlbot.org and go to the Scratch project and you'll see that there's a new commit here adding support for auto start with optional headless mode. Uh, so go ahead and download this as a zip. You probably did this once already, but do it again because there's new stuff in here. Uh, I'm going to extract it and uh, let's go ahead and move this to just to our desktop for now. Okay and if you explore in here you'll see there's some new stuff that wasn't there before. Uh, inside Scratchbot we now have Chrome driver.exe and we also have the actual SB3 file for the scratch bot. Now this uh, SB3 file doesn't have any interesting bot logic in it. All the bots in there just drive straight. So I'm going to show you an example of dropping in your existing SB3 file that you've already been working on so you can take advantage of this new system. So as an example, uh, I'm going to go to the bot spreadsheet and I'm going to download um, Pacific Science Scratcher, which is a scratch bot with a publicly available SB3 file. Let me just download this. And I'm going to grab it and copy it and paste it into this folder. And I'll just rename it so it's a little bit better there. Um, and I'm also going to um, I'm going to modify this my scratch bot config file to point to this SB3. So let me uh, open this with my favorite code editor. And in here it says my scratch bot.sb3. I'm going to change it so it says Pacific Science Scratch. Oops, scratcher. Dot SB3. And then these other settings, I'm going to leave the same. Um, this port number should be unique for your bot, so just change it to something. It should probably be somewhere in the 10,000s. If you make it too low, it'll get upset at you. Or if you make it too high, it'll be upset at you. Um, but a number around this size is good. Uh, spawn browser means it's going to automatically open up Google Chrome to run my bot. And headless, if that's true, it means Google Chrome will be invisible, which is perfect for somebody running a tournament. So before you submit to a tournament, consider changing this to true at the last second. Let's take a look at how this works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back out of here and do uh, run GUI.bat like we normally would. Oops. We got protected. Let's run away anyway. It's opened up like normal, and now we have the our GUI. Um, oops, I forgot one thing. I'm going to change the name to Pacific Sky Science Scratcher uh, inside this config. So this is going to be um, like that. Perfect. Now we can tell them apart. So I saved that run GUI again and it opened up for me and I'm just going to do Pacific Science Scratcher versus itself for this first one um, and now I'm going to run activated okay so it does a normal activated thing let me turn on a little bit of a uh, desktop audio for you Okay, and over on my other screen, it automatically opened this tab and it says it's already on scratch.arlbot.org. It's got that port number I gave it and it's going to try to run players one and two. And it just automatically loaded the SB3 file for Pacific Science Scratcher. And let me just drag game over here. Also, automatically open the game. And so you can see the bot's playing. 
and we did not need to do anything special. So if I was running a tournament, uh, I wouldn't have had to open the browser, I wouldn't have had to click the green flag. Everything would just auto start just as well as it does uh, for Java bots or C-sharp bots or Python bots, which is fantastic. Okay, uh, the one problem is that they're both on the blue team. That's a bit of a mistake. Uh, if I want to fix that, let me just, uh, I have a feeling that there's a little bug in the GUI, uh, putting them both on blue team. But if we click save on this, oops, that's not the save button. I'm going to click save. And then uh, I'm going to stop this and start it up again. I think it'll probably work this time. Let me leave the match and find out. Click run. It's running over here. It's just opened. Okay, look at that. Now we have proper blue versus orange. <laughs> we got a goal before uh, Scratch even loaded. So one thing to be careful of is you probably pause the game until this browser has a chance to load up. But at this point, uh, I believe we do have a correctly running match. Bot versus bot. Um, let me show you what Headless does though before we go. I will go ahead and uh, kill the bots. In fact, uh, I'm going to shut this whole thing down. And now, I'm going to go back in my Scratchbot CFG. And I'm going to turn headless to true. And this is going to make the browser not even open up in the first place. So I saved that. I'm going to run this again. Let me bring it over to my main window. Okay, now when I click run, it's launching, but it's not going to open the browser. And, and by the way, the bots aren't running right now. It's waiting for the browser to open in the background. Still not visible. Still not visible. But eventually, it's going to tell me that we finally get input from scratch, and the bots are going to start playing. And there we go. So we got uh, two working scratch bots with no browser in sight. So it's, again, really perfect for running tournaments. I'm not sure what this big uh, angry thing is, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. The bots are running fine. Okay. Uh, if you've got any questions, I'm Terhart. You can also ask in the Discord server. Nice goal, my boy. And that'll be it for today. I hope you enjoy this new feature, and I'll see you guys later.